as successful as current medical technology is, it will never rescue you from lifestyle complications that are unhealthful. Instead of needing a modern medicine cure for any situation, it is much easier to live in such a manner that you can rarely ever fall ill. An ounce of protection is definitely safer than a pound of cure. Here are 7 tips on how to maintain a long, balanced life. In addition, the same lifestyle that lets you prevent sickness also makes you lose weight. 1. Get enough exercise. In the past, people had to use their physical bodies in the course of their normal work. But today someone may get up, go to work in a car, then sit down, get up to go home in the car and when arriving at home, sit down again for the rest of the day. In such a life there is no physical labor. This physical inactivity is one of the main reasons for a host of diseases. Sport, running, walking and other things must be added to our life if our normal work does not require us to exert ourselves physically. 2. Go to sleep when you're feeling sleepy. This may seem easy, but a lot of people sleep late, even though their body tells them it's time to sleep. Yoga and Ayurvedic doctors also say that it's best to sleep at night and be active throughout the day. However, people including students can take caffeine and stimulants to work late into the night. Others have a habit of being busy at night and resting through the day. Although we can do this, it will inevitably put a strain on our well-being. Alternative medicine clinicians claim that this kind of unhealthy life is one of the causes leading to cancer and other diseases. 3. Eat when you're feeling hungry. This is quite a basic concept, but we also go against the body's signals again. When you eat out of habit or out of social obligation at a certain time of day, even if you don't have a real appetite, you won't digest your food properly. Acidity and digestive problems begin, and this leads to the possibility of digging in other more common diseases. Growing an appetite is, in truth, a sign of good health, so if you don't have an appetite, you can wait a while and then feed. If you have no appetite even after waiting a fair amount of time, you may contact the doctor as something could be wrong. 4. Regular Fasting if you asked someone to work 365 days a year without any breaks, they will whine and say they must get some breaks, or else they would break down. But we never took the time to question or worry about our digestive organs, which we push to function day after day without rest. They can't complain the way a human may do to his supervisor, so they're giving us signs that they can't work nonstop. If we ignore these cues and then expect them to function, the organs shut down. This is why periodic fasting is important. Refrain from eating for a whole day. This provides support to the digestive organs and also helps to remove waste products from the body. 5. Cold Shower Before Bed As stated above, adequate sleep is important for the preservation of health. If you wash your essential motor and sensory organs, hands, arms, eyes, thighs, lips, private parts, before sleeping with cool water, you will be comfortable and primed for deep sleep. 6. Meditation Your body is connected to your consciousness. Many of the illnesses of this period are stress-related. Stress and fear are having an effect on our physical well-being. Meditation is a behavioral activity that, among other aspects, helps you to remove yourself from the preoccupations of life. Practice a basic strategy and use it on a routine basis. 7. Get up early every day. Again, the old proverb, early to bed, early to rise, makes a person healthy, wealthy, and wiser. I don't know if it will make you wealthy, but it will surely make you well. Your body wants sufficient sleep, not too much, not too little. Apply these tips, and you won't have any problems.